वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट वर्किंग कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक स्टेपर मशीन सो हियर दैट विल बी द प्रेसर इज बींग यूज टू कंट्रोल द स्पीड ऑफ द रैम सो इन दिस मशीन द मेनली कंजिस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट डिस्चार्ज गियर पम्प सम ऑफ द वाल चैम्बर्स थ्रॉटलिंग वाल्स दैन operating cylinder piston that piston rod and the ram body so in that case the piston rod with the piston is bolted onto the ram body so now we will see the working of the hydraulic shaper machines so in case of the working of this mechanism the oil which is collecting into the sump or you can say the oil reservoir that will be high pressure pumped by the gear pump so the oil sump and is passed through the valve and that will be entering the right side of the piston so that will be increasing the pressure so that piston it will be imparting the pressure onto that total mechanism so this cylinder it will be moving into this directions so basically that will be called as a forward direction so that forward direction it will be always taking as a cutting stroke or you can say cutting stroke so the 100% material removal that will be take place only during the forward stroke and at the end of the particularly forward stroke what happened so the oil present on to the left side so from here so the cylinder is discharged to the sump through the total valve so that oil it will be coming into the sump or you can say into the oil reservoir now at the end of the forward stroke stops of the limit switches that will be fitted at the bottom of the ram and that will be act against the reversing lever and causes the valve to change their positions within its valve chamber so what happened the oil under the high pressure is now pumped to the left side of the piston causing the ram to performing the return stroke so once again by causing the reverse pressure from the this side so that will be called as a backward stroke or you can say return stroke so the any kind of shaper machines return stroke that will be becoming an ideal stroke so in that case we are required for the quick return mechanism for increasing the productivity of the machines so during that return stroke the oil present on to the right side of the cylinder is now discharged to the sump through the throttle valve so at the end of the stroke another stop hits against the reversing clamp and that will be changing the direction of the travel of the pistons and the cycle is being repeated so by the application of the high pressurized oil that will be having a forward stroke as well as the return stroke so by this switch mechanisms that will be considering as a return stroke so now just you can see the which kind of quick return mechanism is being used into the hydraulic shaper machines so in this mechanism the stroke volume that will be less at the left side so that will be the smaller size because of the presence of the pistons and the rod so as the pump is constant discharge one so the left end of the cylinder that requires the less time to fill the oil than the right side of the cylinder so this side that will be the less side less time laser time is being required so that will be get the return stroke that will be having a quicker than the forward stroke so the length and the position of the stroke can be adjusted by the changing of the position of the stops 
and the cutting speed can be adjusted by the controlling of the throttling valve from here. So the quick return mechanism is being the essential for any kind of shipping operations. So that will be considering as ideal stroke. So there is no material removal take place into the return stroke. Now we will discussing some of the advantages of the hydraulic shaper machines. The cutting and the return speed are practically constant throughout the strokes. So it will be constant pressure it will be maintaining by the gear pumps. And second one that will be the important one and infinite number of the cutting speed may be obtained by the operating of the throttling valves. So by changing the different kind of positioning of the throttling valve, you can change the different kind of forward stroke and the return stroke mechanisms. Then third one, the reversal of the ram that will be obtained quickly without any kind of shock as oil onto the other end of the cylinder to provide the cushioning effect. And last one, an important one, the relief valves ensures that safety of the tool and the machines when the machine is being onto the lower load conditions. So just you can see the summary of the hydraulic shaper machines. So by maintaining the constant oil pressure and that will be used to transferring the pressure to the piston and that will be moving the forward stroke by the limit switches and that will be maintaining the different volume of the oils and that will be making a return stroke. So that forward stroke it will be used for the cutting and return stock that will be the ideal stock and that will be as a quick return. So at the end of the ram it will be similar kind of mechanism we are discussing into the simple shaper machines. So just you can concentrate over here that will be the shaper head it will be included with the tool post. So tool post consisting of the cutting tool and basically here that will be the single point cutting tool is being used and that will be the table so table that will be used to support the workpiece material so workpiece material ideally it will be rusting onto the table or that will be the fix with the help of vice so by the reciprocating motion of the ram this tip of the tool it will be in contact with the surface so that will be used to make the metal removal into the forward directions and that will be used to making a flat surfaces onto the workpiece materials. So this all are regarding to the hydraulic shaper. So if you are like this then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials. Thank you very much.